Hi everyone, welcome to Buggy Mondays at Drawing Club. Today we're drawing Derek the Dragonfly. This is Derek the Dragonfly. To draw Derek, you will need a pencil and maybe a pencil sharpener and an eraser to erase any mistakes and a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline at the end and maybe some color pencils or some color markers to color. But as usual, I am going to use this gray marker to draw just so you can see what I'm doing. So uh, Derek will start with a circle for his head or a kind of an oval. Just like this. And then Derek has two large round eyes that go outside of his head. So we have one eye here, make it nice and big, and then another eye on the other side, and it goes outside of his head as well. Okay, just like this. And remember, if I'm drawing too fast, you can always pause the video to catch up. Um, Derek has got some light shining in these big eyes, so I'm going to put a circle there, and another circle here, and then I'm going to make a curving line right through the middle of his eye. Like that, we're going to shade this at the end, and another one, just like that. And the same in the other eye. And uh, he's got a little smiling mouth, just like this. And then I have drawn these two long antenna on top of Derek's head. And in fact, a dragonfly really doesn't have these kind of long antenna at all. Um, so this is a little bit of a mistake, um, but we're gonna draw them anyway. They look kind of cute, but a real dragonfly actually has very short antenna. So there's one. These are just long curving lines. There's the second, and then bring it back and down to the head, just like that. And next for um, the middle part of Derek's body. So Derek is an insect. We've talked about insects lots before on uh, Buggy Mondays. So um, this middle part is called the thorax. And really, Derek should actually have six legs attached here, but I've left them off to make this a little bit easier to draw today. Um, but he would have six legs, and he does have these four wings attached as well, but we'll do those last. And then the last part of Derek's body is called his abdomen. We're going to make a long shape coming right down and then back up again into the body, making it a little bit narrower as it comes back to his waist there. So that's the abdomen. We're just going to put some little stripy lines along the abdomen like this. I'm just curving them up from one side to the other. And the last thing we need to do with our pencils, so you should be working with your pencil now, is to make these four big wings. So I'm just going to bring out a long line like that. There's a little bump there where I think my table has a bump in there. <laughs> That's okay. Mistakes are okay. In fact, we're going to talk about mistakes a little bit later on this week in another lesson about how we should make sure that we don't get discouraged when we make mistakes, that we just learn from them because they're a very important part of learning. Okay. So what I learned is I need to make sure that I don't have any crumbs or anything on the table underneath my paper when I draw. So I'll try to check that before I do my next drawing. Okay, so there's two wings on this side, and then there's two wings that look hopefully about the same on the other side. It's not going to be perfect, but I've never made a perfect drawing in all my life. See, that one's, that one's a little wider than that one, so right there, but I'm not going to worry about it. This is, when we're working with the pencil anyway, we don't have to worry so much about whether or not things are exact, because we can always fix them up a little bit later on when we do our... Um, when we use our, our black marker or a black pencil crayon. So that's all we need to worry about for the pencil part of Derek. I'm going to put away my, uh, well, it's my using a gray marker, but you have a pencil. And I'm going to start outlining him with my black marker. 
And I'm going to skip outlining some lines because I won't need to outline them because they're actually behind other things. Um, okay, so let's give this a try. Now, dragonflies are actually one of my very favorite insects. If I had to pick two favorite insects, I would say they're probably um, caterpillars of all kinds and then dragonflies. And dragonflies... Um, Actually, near, very near to my school, um, which is in a place called Stratford in um, Prince Edward Island, there is a little pond that is full of dragonflies in the summer, and it's a great place to go see them. Um, but dragonflies, they always live near water uh, because their main food is mosquitoes, and mosquitoes also come out of water, out of ponds. And... Um, Dragonflies are one of the oldest animals on the earth. They are over 300 million years old. That's how long dragonflies have been around. And in fact, um, hundreds of millions of years ago, they used to be much, much bigger than they are now. They would have been bigger than dogs. Um, and I don't mean small dogs, I mean big dogs. Um, so not big enough for you to sit on the back of and ride, but pretty big, um, but they have shrunk uh, over the millions of years, and now they are the kind of the size, well, basically around about the size of these little plastic ones I have here. Um, and one thing that I didn't know about dragonflies until I started to really study them is that they don't start their lives um, on land. When they are uh, uh, lay, when the eggs for them are laid, they're usually laid on um, wood uh, or um, something else that's very close to the water. And when they hatch, the baby dragonflies, which are called nymphs, uh, they actually go underwater. Ooh, see, that's, that is funny. That's not perfect. That's fine. I'm going to not worry about it. Um, mistakes are okay. So they... Um, they actually spend years swimming around underwater, uh, dragonfly nymphs. And they don't really look anything like dragonflies. Um, they're hard to even explain what they look like. Um, but they they have gills like fish so that they can breathe under underwater. And they swim around and they actually eat mosquitoes' eggs um, and mosquito larvae, which are also swimming around in um, ponds. Which is good because mosquitoes are not great for people, so... Dragonflies help us by eating mosquitoes uh, when they're underwater as nymphs, and then when they come out of the water as dragonflies. Um, and so when they're ready, they, they spend years underwater swimming around and eating um, different things. They'll even eat tadpoles, which is amazing. Then they'll come out of the water, and they'll climb up um, uh, some grass or something else, and then they will actually split out of their shell and come out as um, a dragonfly. And they have to wait a while, they have to pump up their wings, and once they're ready to fly, um, they can start hunting for flying mosquitoes. And they are one of the best flyers in the world. They can fly extremely fast. They can fly 50 kilometers an hour, which is, um, you know, the speed of a car, and they can stop and hover in the air, which um, really I don't think there's many other insects or maybe even any other insects that can do that. And they can also fly backwards. And they have these huge eyes, which are special eyes called compound eyes, and that allows them to see almost all around. They can almost see behind themselves, which is why they're such good hunters. And they always catch their prey, like their mosquitoes and, and other insects, right out of the air. So they swoop down and they grab the other insect out of the air and they munch on them. I'm just going to color in the black part of the eye here. Um, they come in all kinds of colors and also different sizes. Some dragonflies are quite large and some are much smaller. Um, and they, you see them in reds and blues and bright greens. And here on Prince Edward Island, we have quite a few different types. Um, so, you know, you should look out for them in the summertime. If you're near a pond, um, you'll probably see them flying around. 
And when I lived in Japan, Japanese people, a lot of Japanese people really love uh, dragonflies. And um, there's an old, old story about uh, an emperor of Japan who was out riding on his horse and a mosquito came down and was biting his arm. And suddenly a dragonfly flew down and grabbed the mosquito right off of his arm. And he was so happy with that, that he actually put the picture of um, a dragonfly right onto his armor. So he would always be protected, which I think is kind of a cool story. Um, I'm just going to little lines along here to show some light shining under the eyes there. And that is it. So I'm just going to bring back my color version here. So here you can see uh, I colored Derek uh, sort of a mix of different blues for his body. Again, a blue kind of green color for his head and for his uh, thorax. And so his abdomen is this light blue. And then I colored his wings a kind of a light pinky purple and then some red in the eyes and some yellow in the eyes. And I didn't color the antenna because, as I said, really, if we look at this one right here, we'll see they really don't actually have long antenna. They should be very short little antenna. Um, but of course you can change because um, dragonflies like Derek come in all kinds of different colors. So you can change the colors to anything you'd like. All right, thanks for coming. And I can't wait to see you guys again.